Is this recording? Is this recording? I don't know if it's recording or not. Um, see, this is how much I care. The sun's not even all the way up yet, and I'm on my way to Columbia, South Carolina. Steve Spurrier's going to be with us at about noon. Kenny McKinley, Stephen Garcia, the starting quarterback, the new one who hasn't even spoken yet, he's going to speak. So that's what we're doing today as I'm on my way to Columbia, and then Clemson later on this afternoon. So roll with me. All right, I hope that recorded. That might not have recorded, but let me, how do I turn this off? So on my way to Columbia, Rubber Band Man came on. Uh, I'm, I don't know. I, I'm a big fan. I like me some Rubber Band Man. Just wanted to share it with you. Still on my way. Be there in a little while. Me again, checking in. Um, I'm in the middle of nowhere on 20. I just passed a sign that said Strom Thurmond Freeway. So I am in South Carolina somewhere. There ain't shit on 20. This is the, the most boring drive in the history of boring drives. This is it. Gas truck. Gas truck. Um, anyway, there ain't nothing going on here. So uh, I'm, I'm almost to Columbia, I hope. Understand, I do this for you. All right? Me amigo. All right. All right, I'm now in Columbia proper. And uh, trying to find the stadium. I've done it before. It, pr pr pretty small town. Pretty big stadium. Uh, so, and it's right across the street from the fairgrounds, too. So, hang on, got him. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Um, anyway, so I'm trying to find the stadium, and uh, then we'll talk to Coach Spurrier, and everything will be groovy as I run this red light. Okay, see, that was for you. I did that for you. King knows what he's doing for lunch. See, that's where I am right now, University of South Carolina. And the great thing about it, I did get to talk to Coach Spurrier. They brought players out. Uh, the best thing is food, box lunches. Hey! But, hey! Hey, come here. Food, potato chips, you name it. It's all right here for you in Columbia when you visit the Gamecocks. this guy's car look at his tag it says Tennessee Vols and then I'm gonna pull in front of him with my car that says Auburn Tigers on it because because we beat them and right now uh, that's pretty much all we got let's let's see if we can see his tag The media throng here to cover the first practice of Coach Swinney is tremendous. Yes, all four of those people are here to cover Coach Swinney's first practice. And actually, the guy in the white shirt, he works for Clemson. So that's what we're dealing with here. Don't really know what I'm going to get. Actually, it's even a little less than I thought. One of the guys is here to fish. Okay, if you don't know one of the traditions here at Clemson, every time they beat a ranked team on the road, they erect a tombstone. And so there's probably, I don't know, like 20 tombstones. Problem for Tommy Bowden? Possibly the reason he's not employed still? Haven't had one in three years. Maybe that's why he's gone. And, and even that one. 
was over a pretty bad South Carolina team. So, oh, here come the players. Bye. The number of fishermen grow. Even some over here. Fishermen, there are more. Number of media. Not really. But, you know, me, I'm going to be the guy. If he's down or anything, you know, happened to him, you know, I'm going to be the guy to look him up and say, hey, we got to keep going. So. That'll work. Thanks, man. James from 790 in Atlanta. You want to give everybody a shout out for our website? You just want to say something? Or? Yeah, just James Davis Douglas High School. Uh, okay. Um, this is James Davis Douglas High School. Go Astros, baby. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, good luck, man. Thank you, man. If things ever go really bad for me, news in Greenville. I bet I can do it. All right, uh, practice is over, got the interviews, and now it's time to go to the Jay Banks McFadden football building to talk to Coach 20. I don't know who Jay Banks McFadden was, but I bet he wrote a big check. So, more coming soon. Damn, okay, I was way off on this one. Apparently, Jay Banks McFadden. Clemson's greatest athlete of the 20th century, at least according to this uh, this plaque right here. Blah, 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 in honor of Clemson's greatest athlete of the 20th century. Okay, that was really bad on my part, so apologies to the McFadden family. Whatever it's been. You talk about one that instilled the tough, this team had a toughness about it. How do you go about instilling that, and how do you define toughness? Well, you got to coach it every day. You know, toughness is hitting first and hitting harder and toughness is getting up and toughness is when you make a mistake you push through and you, and you come back and uh, toughness is keeping your poise when things don't go good uh, and not coming over the sideline and throwing a helmet and, and doing things like that. Toughness is, is uh, uh, you know, coming to, coming to work when it's tough to come to work. You know, toughness is getting up when you don't want to get up. Toughness is walking in the rain to your class to make it to the 8 o'clock class on time. It's just, that's, you know, there's a lot of different definition, definitions of it. And, uh, but ultimately, it on, the game, on, on the game of football, it comes, to, it comes down to uh, guys that's going to hit the hardest, <coughs> hit first, hit the longest. And, uh, you know, I think it's something you coach every day. I think we got a lot of toughness on the team. There's some, there's some tough, tough guys. And, and, you know, this is this is a game played by tough people. Tough game played by tough people. And uh, that's why there's only, a, you know, 22 on the field and 85,000 in the stands. You know, it's a tough game. A lot of work, a lot of, a lot of work that these guys do uh, that goes unseen. Uh, so I think we have a lot of toughness on, on the team. Um, you know, but I want every player including the kicker, to be the toughest guy out there, tougher than their opponent, and uh, play with great effort. The CJ, the well, it's time to leave Clemson, and this has been a tremendous trip. Not sure where I'm going next week. A couple of choices, but um, just a great trip over to Columbia, and then Clemson. Got another interview this morning, so got to get back because God knows what Mike and David are doing on the show. And I uh, just want to thank everybody here in Clemson. Uh, Angela, waitress last night at Hooters, very attentive. I'll just leave it at that. And uh, to Maria, the maid at the Hampton Inn where I stayed, which is right there. You see that? It's the Hampton Inn. Um, I, I didn't hear you knock, so I, I apologize for that. But anyway, I'm going to be back uh, later today, and we'll be talking sports on 790 The Zone. Okay, one quick correction. Uh, I thought that was my last entry. This is really my last entry. Um, I'm on 85 South. Saw it at the exit. 790's paying. I'm eating. So, uh, meal at the Cracker Barrel, then back to Atlanta, talking sports, 790 The Zone. Thanks. Bye.